new computer art tutorial going on here in Pixlr and focus of today's lesson is on the principle of design pattern and so what we're going to do is take a pattern from any object it could be an animal it could be an object and put it on an animal or from an animal and put it on an object I guess I went from animal to animal here but um, you can take us and uh, approach it with any two objects really so um, I'll jump in and get started with my demonstration so I want to toggle back to home and um, first I'm going to click create new in Pixlr E and we're going to choose full HD here and name this assignment pattern and click create I always like to start by just kind of zooming back a little bit and then first image you're going to need is where are you going to put the pattern that you choose and so you'll need to choose an image of you know it could be an animal could be an object that you want to change like the exterior design or pattern of and I kind of decided I want to do a moose took a trip to Alaska this past summer and saw a moose in alive for the first time in the wild which was pretty cool and so that's kind of my inspiration for this so I'm going to go ahead and hit Command V to paste, get my image in here, and then I will go ahead and start dragging these corners to the edges, make my image big enough to fit here, and then hit apply. Or out oh, next I have to crop and then I'll hit apply for that. So um, yep, cropping off the little space left on the edges here and then hitting apply like I was saying. So um, next is to choose what pattern you want. So I went ahead and decided to go with kind of a cow uh, cow hide pattern. Um, you know, you can choose any kind of pattern that you want. Uh, you know, it could be cheetahs, snakes, um, you know, any, any kind of pattern design. Um, just when you're looking for pattern designs, make sure that it doesn't have like a watermark that goes across it. Some of them will, um, and they'll be kind of hard to see at first, but um, once you find a pattern that you like and think will work well, we'll copy that image and jump back into Pixlr. And what we'll want to do then is just paste that down. And then we'll just do a little bit of resizing, uh, maybe adjust the opacity so we can see our image through it. So we'll turn the transparency down a little bit so I can see, you know, where my image behind it is. Uh, you know, 40% or so should work. And I'm going to then shrink this pattern down a little bit so that it just covers the fur part of the moose. You know, I'm not really going to have it showing up on the antlers because just want it to show up on the fur. So once I have that down, I'm going to use my cutout tool, my cutout mask tool. And I'm going to put it on the draw mask option and then choose remove from mask and then set my brush size. Let's see how big that is. I'm going to make it pretty big because I'm going to get rid of the edges first. And so let's see, maybe I'll go up to double the size, 150, and have that blurred edge. I could even go a little bit larger than that. Let's go 200. And then I'm just going to click and drag my mouse and kind of take away the pattern from anywhere where I don't want it to be. So you can see I'm kind of getting close to the edge of the moose's back here. So I'm leaving it over him, but then taking it away from everywhere that would be his fur. And so I'm really kind of carefully trying to go along this edge here and get this close. I will have to go back in and get a little more detailed on the edges, but this is pretty good so far. All right, let go and I can see that it's taking away um, the cow pattern from everywhere that is kind of outside the edges of um, where I decided to make it go away from. So if you do happen to go too far, um, do know that with a add to mask feature, you can click back to add to mask and uh, I can re-add, you know, the texture from the pattern layer um, wherever I want, um, if you ever need to. So um, that's the nice thing about using the remove for mask uh, button in features um, because you can easily kind of go back and tweak and make changes. So I'm going to bring my size down now and go into some of the more detailed areas. And this is looking pretty good. Um, I could get a little more refined if I want to jump in with my zoom tool and then, um, you know, look at the edges a little more closely, you know, maybe check the opacity, maybe turn that up and just kind of double check what it looks like, how the edges are kind of uh, following each other, and if I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to jump back in here, though, with my cutout tool, 
and go to draw mask and then just kind of like go over these edges a little bit more. Oops, I want to make sure I'm on remove mode and maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to keep it with the fuzzed edged brush because it is like a furry animal. If you're doing an object that maybe isn't um, have like a fur, um, if you're, you know, say you're transferring a pattern onto an object rather than, um, you know, an animal that has furry, then you might want to use the solid edged uh, brush rather than a fuzzy edge. You know, I think the fuzzy edge just kind of is fine with this uh, particular example because it's an animal. So, you know, it has fur, which seems to fit with the fuzz brush, the little faded edge fits and works well. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I got a little more space in here. Oh yeah, and then over the antlers here, so I really want to make my brush smaller for that. Maybe I'll go down to like 20 here. And yeah, I want to remove it from all of these antler spots. And then once I get this done, that's probably about it. The other thing I'm going to look at it with you guys is layer styles. So we can do some different blending of layer styles in order to kind of combine the fur pattern um, of the cow with the fur pattern of the, or with the fur of the moose. So I'm going to take my zoom tool again. Um, if I hold the shift key, I can go back and forth between plus and minus, which is something that's nice and handy rather than clicking on the options. Um, so this looks pretty good, um, but like I was saying, so you can blend two layers together by just changing the transparency. Um, that works, that's one way to do it, and that may work with the pattern that you're using, but the other way you can blend two layers together is you could choose blend modes right here. And so I think what I had chosen for mine was soft light. I think that did a pretty good job of blending. I think it does better with the white parts and the dark parts than um, just changing the transparency, but try out a bunch of different of these. Some like hard light doesn't really do anything. You know, color burn isn't really a good one, but some of these might work differently for your image depending on the colors and tones of things in your image. So try out these layer styles, you know, and see which works best. Overlay, you know, actually looks pretty interesting. You can also adjust the transparency as well as the layer style to try and kind of you know, get the right mix for different blending of two layers together. So, you know, if I have screen, you know, and then turn it down a little bit, that works better than just going to screen, you know, or multiply here and I can check and see, you know, kind of how that influences it. But, um, you know, I think soft light ended up being the best uh, option for me. You know, I can even turn the transparency all the way up or just a little bit down and that looks pretty good. I think the other thing I kind of did as well with mine was sort of erased the pattern over the eye or maybe some parts like the lips of uh, the animal if you're doing an animal that may help to kind of just make it appear a little bit more realistic here. So just kind of erasing a little bit over the eye area there. You know just bring out the detail of the eye um, as it might be a little weird if it doesn't actually appear in the picture you know so um, so there we go lesson on uh, layering patterns over some other kind of image or animal or object so hope you guys have fun getting creative with your own creations here